We are on the road in the nasty red with the trailer. Oh no. Oh no. What are we getting now? You see, I think I find more things to pick up and tow and buy when I have a trailer to haul them in a really, really nice towing setup. It, it, it's kind of a bad thing because I just really want to buy more stuff when I have a truck that does everything so well. I mean, it's I don't I don't know what to do guys I just I find a deal and I'm like well I mean I've got a truck to tow it with pretty easy so sure let's go find it you know what I mean makes absolutely no sense but uh, we are on our way guys welcome back to another video here on the live crowd channel we're on our way to go look at a second gen Dodge who would have thought a second gen we don't like second gens around here no 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 but we are on our way to go check one out here and I'm not I'm not making any guarantees that I'm gonna buy this truck I, I've talked to the guy for the last like two weeks about it and this is not one of the trucks that have been on the off the market list that I'm like just saving for a rainy day when I can't find any clean trucks which I've got a few on my radar that you know guys have and they're like you know they're not for sale unless you buy it sort of thing if they ever want to sell it they said they'll message me first type of deal uh, this is one that is actually on the market that I found on Facebook and I messaged a guy about two weeks ago when it was newly listed I said hey man uh, you know you said you just don't have time to finish the project what does that mean and he's just like it's just the interior i just haven't gotten the interior done and from the pictures that i saw it really just looks like it's mostly dirty and it's needing a new dash top but the dash isn't even in bad shape it's got like two small cracks like it was in better shape than even nasty reds was and so i was like oh okay and he doesn't have a radio on it a couple really really small small things that we know how to take care of pretty darn easy so i said well i gave it made him an offer and i thought he's gonna be like screw you dude no way and he's like well if you come check it out and pick it up uh this week i'll sell it to you for that and i'm like well cool so we're on our way and who knows if like i said who knows if i'm gonna buy this truck or not if i don't at least i get to enjoy driving a nasty red for three hours between getting there and back but if i do get this truck i'm pretty excited because it reminds me a lot of nasty red actually and i think you guys might also really like it for that reason but if we don't buy this truck it's okay i've got other plans i've got backup plans you always have to have backup plans and then backup plans to your backup plans to make sure that you have plenty of backups always have a plan a b c d so on and so forth let's go check this thing out and hopefully it's what we're looking for and if it's not that sucks i guess we'll get started on the alice chalmers in the next part of the video oh no fam i did it i did it i had to it was a good deal it was a very very good deal the truck needs some very minor work but it runs amazing drives amazing and uh I'm pretty excited about it. I think uh, I think we got a steal of a deal on this thing. So stay tuned. We're gonna continue our journey home. And if we have daylight when I get back, I'm gonna show you everything around the truck. And um, I'll show you what it needs and we'll go from there. But for the most part, the thing it needs most is just a wash. It's just super dusty, but yeah. I'll give you updates once we get on further down the road or once we're closer to home, but Nasty Red, putting in the work, I'm telling you. I'm trying to get a little bit of Nasty Red acceleration action here with the, with the new flatbed truck here on the trailer. It's a 12 out Cummins, 2500, four wheel drive, so it's, you know, big heavy steel flatbed, so it's pretty heavy pretty heavy setup so come to a stop here wait my turn there we go so we made it back all safe and sound about a little little over an hour trip and uh nasty red i'm telling you just a champ i left with 
not quite a full tank but almost a full tank i had about seven eighths of a tank i guess you could say and um we got back with just over a half tank still and it was 74 miles there 74 miles back on the way there obviously I had an empty trailer um 20 foot car hauler and then on the way back obviously i had a loaded trailer with a heavy truck on there so let me show you around this thing real quick the best that i can before we lose too much daylight here so there's the nasty red just a towing beast there's the truck there's the towing airbags and stuff works wonders we've actually got it to where you can air them up and air them down right here through the license plate and it's it's pretty slick not gonna lie so here's the truck it's a 1997 12 valve cummins beautiful beautiful truck the truck's got some minor cosmetic flaws like for example the bumper we're gonna have to do something with this because the paint just didn't stick very well to the plastic on the bumper he's like yeah it didn't turn out as nice as i thought it was going to be in terms of the plastic he's like i thought it would be cool to have the plastic painted but he says the plastic just just the paint's just not sticking to it very well so uh, that we might i don't know what we're gonna do for sure but we're gonna have to do something with that obviously because it's chipped up right there and then in terms of on the side the door has like some uh, like a very very faint dent here and a very faint dent here and i don't know why like from the side you really can't see it but if you're like from this angle you can kind of see it a little bit right there but for the most part it's the thing is like super straight super clean and it was all redone so the whole cab was completely redone and then the whole underside of the truck was completely redone as well like everything was sandblasted and repainted so uh the bed is actually a custom built flatbed the guy that owned the truck built the bed i'm guessing that's what the business name was was mike's trailers not 100 sure but i'm guessing uh, because this was his personal truck so he built the flatbed and uh it, it's actually really sweet it's got a flip over b w ball in the back here's your pin to release the ball to flip it they even made these toolboxes for storage on the side your diesel cap is right here right where it should be your wiring right back there for your gooseneck and then you've also got wiring back here as well and uh everything is just very very well thought out and very well put together underside like i said everything was sandblasted and redone the entire underside of the truck rear diff fluid was swapped out and replaced but everything is shiny like brand new underneath here because it basically is he literally had everything underneath sandblasted and repainted and it looks freaking awesome mbrp exhaust right now it's rocking some third gen stock 17s that are 35 by 1250s you're freaking huge hardly fit on this truck you got about four inches of space above it two or three inches between the side of the bed only like an inch and a half two inches between um the tire and the other toolbox here absolutely no rust on the truck no rust on the body no rust underneath everything is super super clean i mean he literally had everything redone everything was sandblasted it wasn't just like painted over i mean everything was redone all new brake lines and brackets i mean it is so shiny clean under here new oil pan gasket he had the engine out and he resealed a bunch of stuff brand new transmission drive shaft was sandblasted and repainted as well so very minor things that it needs like i said very very minor things in terms of mechanics of the truck brand new transmission engine had a bunch of stuff resealed on it new brakes all around lines brackets uh new vacuum system for the four-wheel drive to lock up and all that and i uh, think is that it or is that not? all gauges work on the inside of the truck pretty excited about it so we're gonna get this thing backed off the trailer here and the first thing it needs is a freaking wash As you can see, it's gonna need a, a cab light adjustment there. It's definitely got, that one's flickering, comes and goes, and that one's not even on. But I mean, it sounds good.
And then in terms of the interior, he claims this is why he's giving it a good deal. The interior is not done, which is true. The dash has uh, got a couple cracks in it, missing a grab handle there. The headliner looks like it was replaced at some point, but it doesn't look as good as it would with just like a factory one. Seats are in pretty good shape other than a little rip right here. Back seat's in pretty darn good shape. Actually, I was wondering if he even had these. There's a cup holders. Those are supposed to be in the dash. One piece back glass. But if you look at the interior, it's very, very minor things that I need. So we're gonna be getting started on this as well, super, super soon here. And then of course, we've also got the Al Chalmers project that we gotta get started on. We got my grandpa's Ram 1500 we've got to get started on. So we've got, we've got plenty of projects to get going on here. No shortage of projects, that's for sure. But I'm super excited to add this one to the list of things. And this one, we're probably gonna get started on the fastest. And then when we're waiting on parts and stuff for this to finish that up, we're probably gonna get going on the tractor. And then my grandpa's truck, we're probably gonna wait on that a little bit longer to get the paint and body work restoration done because this is gonna be priority one that's going to be priority two and then the truck is going to be on the list there but just not at the very very top quite yet just because it's getting into the time of year anyways where we're not going to like want to drive it as much once it's redone anyway and so i'm not like urgently trying to get it done so i can drive it around all summer you know we're getting into the fall where the truck's probably not going to get driven as much anyways coming up soon if it were to be all redone so i'm wanting to wait on that just a little bit more but It'll be done soon. What should we do with the bumper? Like I said, the paint's chipping on the plastics of the bumper. Other than that, the bumpers, the bumper's fine. It's just the plastics are chipping. And then it needs a couple of other small things in terms of interior, like some bezel stuff, dash top needs to be replaced, and then like grab handles and just some small stuff. We'll get all that stuff ordered literally tonight, and then that stuff will all be in soon, and then we can get to buttoning up the interior. And would you guys like to see a cool leather interior in this truck just like we've done in the past with some of them or not let me know down in the comment section below because this is one that i would love to see something cool done with the interior because the interior is going to have to get some stuff redone anyways to finish it off and make it look good so if we're going to do it might as well do something cool with it what do you guys think let me know down in the comment section below and in terms of wheels and tires on this guys what do you want to see i'm thinking about going with like some 16 by 8s or 16 by 9s on this thing like the bullet hole style, you guys let me know, only because the type of bed that this is, unless we put a huge lift on it, it's probably not gonna be able to clear anything that's super wide, but it's up to you guys. We'll make whatever work you guys want, but I do think this would be nice if it was kept as a super good tow truck. Don't forget that if you wanna enter to win this beautiful 2003 5.9 Cummins plus $5,000 cash, the truck's only got 84,000 miles on it. It's a freaking awesome, beautiful truck. If you wanna get entered to win, it's this easy. Go to lmpgear.com, buy anything you like on the store. It could be a hat like this, a shirt like this, backpack like this one. Can't hardly see it. It's Mountain Dew themed, but it's it's an LMP gear backpack. And every $1 right now for this last week is gonna get you 20 entries to win. Every product gets you 20 times entries right now only until the last day, which is in just seven days on October 13th. And then the giveaway for this truck plus $5,000 cash is gone. So get in while you can guys, best of luck to you. Somebody's got to take this truck home. Might as well be you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.